Lord, we bless you. In your might, in your power, you have taken us through. You have carried us to where we are. And even in the days to come, you will carry us beyond. We thank you. We honor you because you are worthy. In the mighty name of Jesus, do we pray and do we declare. Amen. We can celebrate our God, our faithful God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Tunaweza kupata nafasi zetu za kuketi katika uwepo wa Bwana. Uh, tunashukuru ya kwamba Mungu ametupea nafasi, nafasi nzuri ya kusikiza neno lake. Uh, as we wind up on our uh, three days of prayer, I do believe that God is giving us occasion. So we thank God for those who have been here from the beginning, those who came the second day and those who are here for the first day, we want to thank God for you, trusting that you have been walking with us, because if we, if we have been walking together, then whatever we have, you have also received. Yesterday we were praying, and we were making this prayer, that uh, as God remembered Medad and Eldad, and blessed them, despite the fact that they were not uh, in the meeting where they were supposed to be, but wherever they were, because they were part of the group that they would receive, we also prayed for the same, and our faith is that God has honored our prayer. Na umebarikiwa. Buana sifu sana. So, eh, tumekuwa na nafasi ya kuomba, na imani yangu ni kwamba umeomba, eh, hatuwezi sema umeomba ya kutosha, lakini umeomba. Buana sifu sana. Maombi ni one of the things. Hakuna siku utaku umemaliza ati useme sasa nime graduate niko pande ile ingine sina haja ya kuomba. Even in the list of the moments we still need to continue to pray because we need God. Even when we feel very victorious we still need the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Na siku ya leo nataka kuongea habari ya kuomba kufikia ushindi. Praying to victory. Amen. Na praying to victory eh, ni kitu ambao tu ninataka ni maneno ambao tumesoma tumeyasikia hakuna kitu ambacho eh, ni kigeni ambacho tunataka ninataka kunena ni mambo yale tu ambao umekuwa ukiyasikia and i have faith that wakati ambapo tunayafuata eh, Mungu atakujalia kuyaelewa zaidi na njia kubwa eh, tukiwakaribisha pia wale ambao wako kwenye mtandao tukiamini kwamba utabarikiwa pamoja nasi na Mungu atakutendea mema wakati anatutendea praise the name of the lord so eh, nataka tuende katika first samuel excuse me chapter 1 and verse number 9 first samuel chapter 1 and verse number 9 eh, tutasoma mistari kadhaa pale kwa hivyo be ready for this uh, na mambo ambayo tutayasoma Ninaamini atatusaidia katika kuomba zaidi na kujiandaa kwa ushindi ambao tumepewa. E, niseme hivi kabla hata sijasoma neno, the reason why we pray, kuna sababu ambazo hutuleta katika kuomba. One of the reasons we pray is because we have problems. Na ni reason na ni reasonable. You can pray because you have problems you have issues around your life so mambo yale yamekuzunguka yanakusukuma katika kuomba number 2 uh, somebody can pray because uh, programs zina require uombe uh, wakati Yesu alienda na mitume kwenye mlima I, i believe the book of luke chapter number 9 if you read uh, alienda na wao na hawakuomba kwa sababu ilikuwa ni wanaomba kwa sababu program ya maombi imefika matthew 26 if you look at the scripture also walienda mlimani lakini bibi anasema kwamba Yesu aliwarudia akawauliza hamungeweza kukesha nami hata lisali moja bwana asifiwe sana eh, another thing that i would like to mention very briefly is that we can pray as a routine eh, ni taratibu ya kwetu kuna kufanywa hivyo eh, taratibu inasema tuombe kwa hivyo tutaomba program iko inasema ni wakati wa maombi eh, na kwa hivyo mtu anaomba na hayo yote ambao nimesema kuna wakati Mungu tu atakuneemisha kwa sababu program iko na unaomba unapewa tu lakini wakati mwingi hayazai mazao 
Because the best time to pray is when you pray by faith or because of your faith. Hallelujah. Unaomba kwa sababu unaimani. Unaomba kwa sababu kuna moyo moyoni mwako kumejenga imani ya kwamba huyu Mungu ambaye anatenda si niingie kwake nitapata. Praise the name of the Lord. And the best point in prayer is where you pray because you believe. Kama kuna siku utaomba maombi yako na uwe na uhakika, ni maombi uliojenga imani. Haukutokea kwa sababu ya program, haukupiga magoti kwa sababu e, wengine walipiga magoti, lakini moyoni mwako ulikuwa na imani na Mungu hujibu maombi. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, in fact there is a statement that I've said many times. The spiritual realm honors faith and responds to faith. Ulimwengu wa rohoni unakubaliana na imani. Hata wakati you know even the devil hata ni mbaya na ni mwovu. Na shetani anakuwazia mabaya, anakupangia mabaya. But the devil cannot disagree with the faith. Hallelujah. Just like the devil cannot disagree with the word, he cannot disagree with your faith. So hata wakati shetani angetaka kukupinga, but what you believe shall come to pass. Bwana asifiwe sana. Anaweza kuwa na vita na wewe lakini eh, anaweza ti na anaheshimu imani yako na ulimwengu wa rohoni unaheshimu imani. Sasa sikuwa nataka kuwaeleza yale lakini ninasema hivyo kwa sababu ni muhimu ujiulize. Ninaomba nikiwa nimesimama wapi? Am I praying as a routine? Am I praying because there is a program? Am I praying because of my fears and the worries that I have or the problems I'm facing, the challenges I'm facing or am I praying because I believe? And not that you should not pray when you face challenges, but to pray because you believe and not necessarily because there is a a challenge. Bwana asifiwe sana. Usiombe kwa vile challenge imekuja, lakini omba kwa sababu unaamini. Na hii ina demand. Uombe wakati wote. Hauombi kwa sababu kuna challenge. Ninaomba Mungu atupe eh, neema. Ninaomba Mungu atupe nafasi hivi karibuni tuwe hapa na siku kama hizi tuko nazo bila kunena neno la kuitisha tunene maneno ya shukurani. Bwana asifiwe sana. Tuwe hapa kushukuru Mungu. Kwa sababu wakati mwingine, wakati mwingi ni kama kile msukumo ule mkubwa ni mashida ambazo tuko nazo, matatizo ambayo tuko nao, but we should learn to come to God because he is God and he is a faithful God. Praise the name of the Lord. Wacha nisingie hiyo jia sana. Biblia inasema namna gani? 1st Samuel chapter number 1 and verse number 9. After they had eaten, of course ukisoma misali iko hapo juu, utasoma historia ya Hana na Samuel e, na, na, na Elkana mumewe. Bwana asifiwe sana. Ya kwamba kuna mke mwingine ako na watoto. Kwa hivyo huwa nasema Hana alikuwa na uhakika. Shida sio mume wangu, shida ni nani? Ni mimi. Kama kuna mtu ame ako na kitu kinasubua ni mimi. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Na ukisoma hapo utaangalia conversation yake na mumewe. Elkana anamwambia, "I am better than 10 sons." Si ndivyo anamwambia. Lakini nikuulize, Elkana ako na shida? Hana shida ako na watoto. Anawaona, yeye anajua mimi ni mzee na niko sawa. Yule mtu mwenye shida ni wewe. Wewe tosheka hivyo huko. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And I pray that you will not be satisfied until you see the results that you are supposed to see. Usifike mahali uwe comfortable kwa sababu Samuel eh, eh, Elkana anakuambia be comfortable my brother mambo hukaa hivyo wakati mwingine. Hali zinakuanga hivyo. Hii ni dunia ya kupanda na kushuka. Kwao wanaweza sema hivyo kwa sababu ya wako chini. Do you, do you know it is so hard to <laughs> Bwana asifiwe sana. To be the cancerer when you are down there. You can be a very good cancerer when you are high there. Ukiwa juu, pesa ziko, eh kanyumba kamelipwa vizuri. Wewe hata huna kitu huna kabiri ya kuseto somewhere you can talk unaweza ongea hata unaweza cancel mtu vizuri sana wacha nikwambie hii ni dunia inaendanga hivyo saa ingine unashuka saa ingine unapanda you can talk like that because you are not down there when you are down you don't talk like that lugha hubadilika Bwana asifiwe sana so hakuna na ndio huwa saa ingine nashangaa when you prepare such a forum the people who have more issues are the people who miss out Tuache hiyo. The people who really needed the time are the people who will not be in that moment. Because they are, na, na kuna vitu ambao na paso where nobody will ever carry your burden the way you can carry them. Nobody can ever pray about your issues the way you pray for them. 
Bwana asifiwe. Nilijiambia wakati mmoja nafikiri nimewahi share sana. Wakati mmoja tulifika mahali tukawa na deni ya nyumba haijalipwa. E, ilikuwa sijui kama ni miezi kama kumi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Miezi kumi. E, sasa ile miezi kumi nilipoangalia mwisho nilifika mahali nikagudua. Hii muzigo atikusema kanisa ibebe ndio imenifanya nikuwe na madeni ningejibebea mzigo singekubali ifike mahali imefika tukaketi na mke wangu tukakubaliana hatutawahi ilipiwa nyumba na kanisa eh, na hatujawahi bwana asifiwe sana yani kanisa ipewe mzigo wa kulipa nyumba tu wanaambiwa nyumba ya pasta inalipango a a tulisema hakuna hata sasa hatujajenga tuko tu kwa wenyewe na hujawahi sikia hilo tangazo na usi expect kulisikia nilisema moyoni mwangu bile zangu wacha nilipe mwenyewe ili nizishughulikie na uchungu ili kakienda kufugana nione nyumba imemaliza miezi miwili moyo ni mwangu kutainuka kilio ambacho si cha kawaida lakini mbebewa mizigo uone ni watu wagapi watakubebea mzigo vile unaweza omba unaweza beba hakuna mtu atawahi kukuombea kama vile unaweza jiobea bwana yesu asifiwe because i want to tell you there are so many elkanas and peninas in your life who will comfort you that it is okay si hata hawa watoto ni wako tu si tumeolewa na bwana mmoja hawa watoto ni wanani ni wetu lakini walikuwa wao hapana ni wao jina lakini si penina ni yule wa kukejeli kila siku e, ukijiona hapa kujigamba you are the first wife first wife kitu gani first wife jiangalie first wife na huna mtoto first wife yani kukejeli maneno ya ya ya, ya aibu na kumwaibisha lakini eventually if you look at your bible hana knew what to do praise the name of the lord and that is where we are in verse number 9 and they had uh, after they had eaten and drunk in shilo hana rose now eli the priest was uh, uh, sitting on the on the seat beside the doorpost of the temple of the lord she was deeply distressed and uh, prayed to the lord and wept bitterly bwana asifiwe sana hana akaingia hekaruni eli ameketi pale die kuhani na hana ninataka uone hakutafuta intermediary mtu wa katikati broker bwana asifiwe sana <laughs> unajua hata kwa bible unaweza angalia ukaona mabroka tu huko katikati sasa hana alisema leo sitaki broker Broka hawezi beba mzigo wangu kama vile ninastahili kuubeba praise the name of the lord so ukisoma ama ukiangalia katika lile neno hana alienda straight kwa hekaru akaenda bere za bwana na biblia inasema kwamba she was deeply distressed and prayed to the lord and wept bitterly bwana asifiwe sana eh, maombi si maombi peke yake if you look at this word you can understand there are prayers that are beyond the ordinary maombi ambayo yanapita kawaida Bwana asifiwe sana. Si maombi yote ambayo utainuka tu amuke, Bwana asante, najua kitu fulani imefanyika. Si maombi yote yako vile. Ukitazama katika hili neno, Hana aliinuka. Na katika shida ya moyo wake, she cried to the Lord and the Bible says she cried how? Bitterly. Kwa uchungu. Haya si maombi yale ambayo unaweza omba tu kawaida. Ile maombi ya Bwana, asante ni wewe unapeana watoto na ninajua wewe utanipea mtoto. Ah ah, hii ni maombi ambao alijua. Kuna kitu ninabishana nacho na kinastahili kiondoke ili nipate mtoto. Praise the name of the Lord. If you think about that is ndio wakati zimeanza. Zilikuwa hata nyakati za zamani. Si mama ambaye anaitwa ana, anaitwa Rebecca ameolewa na ni wazuri wameolewa wamekuwa wana mali lakini miaka ishirini hana mtoto 20 years hana mtoto Bwana Yesu atukuzwe kwa nini hana mtoto kwa sababu hakuna mtu aliyeshughulika walikuwa wanaangalia nafikiri huyu jamaa anaitwa Isaka alikuwa anamkomforta na mwambia ai wewe ujaka mama yangu aligoja hii mumamiwi tu hii wewe wewe hata hujaka wewe wewe hii unaona ai aha nakwambia kama mama yangu alipata hata wewe utapata lakini nafikiri na ni mafikira yangu haijaandikwa na sijaisoma mahali lakini kuna possibility kubwa ya kwamba huyu mama aliambia mume wake kama hautaomba mimi siko rede kuendelea na miaka mpaka kama mama yako nifike kuzeeka nizae mtoto nikiwa night digasi ya rade night bwana asifiwe sana 
Sitazaa nikiwa miaka tisini Nitazaa mtoto mapema. Haleluya. Na dugu Isaka maandiko inasema and Isaac prayed for his wife. Praise the name of the Lord. Kuna mambo ambao wakati mwingine kuna mipaka huwekwa inajijenga inakuta ya kwamba ama unajikuta you are behind the boundaries kila unataka kiko ngambo ile nyingine and you have to know how do i face the boundary ili nifikie kile kiko the other side bwana yesu asifiwe so ukitazama hana alijua nina face mpaka bwana asifiwe sana i don't know kama lakini nafikiri nitakueleza baadaye kuna mipaka aina tatu ambao ninataka tuombee siku ya leo na Mungu atatupea neema ya kuipita. So maandiko inasema and she vowed a vow. This is a continuation of the prayer. Maombi yake hana si maombi ya kawaida. Ni maombi ambao uchungu wake ulimpeleka. She prayed a prayer that is a vow. Ombi ambalo ni kama kiapo anaapa. Ni nadhiri anaweka bede za Bwana. Lakini she is deep in prayer. Hallelujah. Na neno linasema if, uh, she said o oh, oh Lord of hosts if you will indeed look on the affliction of your servant we are in the book of first samuel chapter number 1 and verse number 11 if you will indeed look on the affliction of your servant and remember me and not forget your servant but will give to your servant a son then i will give him to the lord all the days of his life praise the name of the lord eh katika lile neno Alright. Neno hili ambalo ninakupea akasema ya kwamba ukimhurumia mjakazi wako uweze kunibariki kama na kutoka ni kitu aliomba na ukisoma Biblia inasema Eli alimuangalia hakumuangalia tu hivi grass alafu akatoka hapana ni kitu aliyoobserve huyu mtu anakaa namna gani mama tu hakuna kitu ana, anakaa kutoa kwa kinywa atusikini nini anasema ni midomo tu tunaona ikimove praise the name of the lord So brethren if you understand the scriptures unaweza ona kwamba at times prayer requires time kuna mambo yanahitaji time katika kuyaombea uyaombe uyape muda vizuri uyasukume mpaka ufikie usikie ya kwamba nimepita Bwana asifiwe sana eh nimewafundisha sana na sina muda wa kueleza mambo mengi lakini nimewaambia kuna ma, maombi maeneo kadhaa ya kuomba one is prayer in the season ombi katika majira na ni vizuri ujifundishe kuna maombi yanakuwa katika nini majira wakati umefika bingu zako zimefunguka ukiomba wakati ule kuna urahisi kuna upenyo wa haraka amen kuna ombi ambalo ninasema eh, the preemptive prayer nafikiri tuliuse ongea mambo haya juzi juzi preemptive prayer ni lile ombi unaomba ukidiru na vitu ambazo una suspect unatarajia nitazikuta katika barabara bwana asifiwe sana unaona kama dereva wa matatu bila wana wanawekanga ka kitu na hapa kwa mrango anapigia wengine matawa na mwambia wako bere anaweka ka 50 ama ka na hapo sasa unaona anga tu polisi anakuja eh hey, dereva anakupita naye preemptive anajua nitamkuta na hakuna kitu kubwa anataka anataka tu haka ka kitu nimeweka hapa sijasema muweke bwana asifiwe sana si haki lakini inasema hivi anaenda akiwa already anajua there is somebody ahead of me nitamkuta ata demand kitu fulani bwana asifiwe sana e, kama hujawahi enda barabara ukiwa dereva na hasio marked ukakuta bump ambayo hauna habari iliwekwa jana na hawakuweka alama bwana asifiwe sana kuna wakati njia hii ya kwenda meru waliweka tu bumps very sharp eh twingine tunakaanga kama amejikunja hivi wakaweka mahali magari zile zilianguka pale siku hiyo sababu ziliwekwa hakuna sign na ni mahali kwa kamulima ukichomoka hivi bambu dio hii umemaliza tu magari iligonga karavatu watu wakijaribu kuepuka ingine zilikongana bwana asifiwe yani kitu ambao haukutarajia you, you, you dio kunawekwa sign so that you are you preempt kuna kitu fulani unawekewa saini ya kitu kanakaa kama en. unaambiwa mlima itakuwa kuna kona itaenda hivi alafu itarudi hivi umeambiwa ili moyoni mwako ujipange kuna kona are you in the house so in prayer there are prayers you pray preemptively 
unatarajia kuna makona nitakuta na huku mbele kuna mavitu haiko sawa na huku mbele you deal with them in a prayer siongei mambo hayo lakini nataka tusonge so neno linasema hana pray alichukua time kuomba alichukua muda akaomba hatuambiwi aliomba muda gani lakini ukitazama utagudua she prayed and she took time in that prayer praise the name of the lord eh maandiko inasema verse number 13 Hannah was speaking in her heart only her lips moved and her voice was not heard therefore Eli took her to be a drunkard a drunken woman Eli alipomwangalia hivi mama vile anakaa hasemi kitu ni eh? sasa akajua mama amekunywa divei asubuhi na unajua ilikuwa wakati wa celebrations na celebration katika Israeli ka divei kalikuwa hapo kando so mama amekunywa akapitisha divoeli alijiabia lakini hana alikuwa mrevi hapana and sometimes i want to encourage you do not expect situations circumstances people around you to understand this commitment to prayer usitarajie kueleweka maana kuna watu wanatarajia vyenye umeomba watu wote watakupigia makofi a a wengine hawaelewi ni nini hii mbona una shida ukifuata hii mambo kuna vitu ambavyo hazielewi kwa nini uko na wakati huo wote katika kuomba? Kwa nini umejipeana hivyo katika kuomba? So there will be situations circumstances people who might never understand your reason to prayer. Keep on praying. Praise the name of the Lord. Wakisema wewe ni mulevi, shukuru Mungu wewe si mulevi. Anaweza wewe umekunywa, lakini kama hujakunywa, una every reason to continue. So maandiko inasema ya kwamba eh, Hana answered my Lord. Okay, verse 14 and Eli said to her How long will you go on being drunk? Put away your wine from you. Wata kukunywa. Verse uh, verse 15, but Hana answered my lord, I am a woman troubled in spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but I have been pr- uh, pouring out my soul before the Lord. Bwana asifiwe sana. Nimekuwa nikimwaga moyo wangu mbele za Bwana. Do not regard your servant as a worthless woman for all along I have been speaking out of my great anxiety and vexation. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nimekuwa nikinena kutoka kwa machungu ya moyo na uzito ambao ninausikia. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Watu wawili wakienda mahali eh, mtu mmoja anahitaji eh, milioni moja na mwingine anahitaji 50 bob. Wakiogelesha mtu yule ambaye anaweza wapea pesa, wataogea the same wa 50 bob ataogea kama wa, wa, wa milioni moja wa 50 bob unanipea ama hunipei ni uraha kana defage you know he can afford to speak that way lakini yule wa milioni moja hawezi ogea hiyo language atasema mkubwa niko na jambo limetokea na nakwambia nikikosa hizi pesa mambo yangu imeharibika hiyo biashara kazi yote imekwisha naomba tu unisaidie milioni moja atampembeleza kwa sababu hiki anahitaji kuna uzito kuliko yule wa nini? Wa hamsini. Yesu akasema mtu huyu alikuwa na deni kubwa, mwingine alikuwa na deni dogo. Akawauliza swali, wakisamehewa nani atapenda mwenye kumsamehe? Hata wa mafarisai wakamwambia, "He, mwenye amesamehewa hiyo pesa umesema hiyo milioni kumi. He, hawezi linganishwa na mwenye amesamehewa elfu moja, elfu bili. Ah ah, hawafanani, hawatoshani. Hivyo ndivyo tu ilivyo. We are not expected to speak the same language. Praise the name of the Lord. When you come to prayer and you must learn the language of your prayer. Niombi gani ambalo ninaliomba mbele za Bwana? Nijifundishe lugha. Na ndio maana Biblia inasema kwamba ask and shall be given to you. But it does not stop there. It says seek and you will find. Bwana asifiwe sana. Mtu ambaye ni kuomba anaomba, naomba unipe jembe na mtu ambaye anatafuta jembe wana behave the same wa kuomba si wewe ndio unajua mahali iko naomba unipe jembe so unitafutie wewe uende utafute unilete wa kutafuta hasemi naomba anaingia kwa nyumba anaanza kuuliza watu hata na makerere nyinyi mlinaekaga majebe mahali mtu hawezi ona nani alikuwa na jebe mara ya mwisho nani alikuwa lugha yake ni tofauti kwa maana takatika habari zao they are not in the same league blessed be the name of the lord Bwana asifiwe. Unaonanga vile tukicheza football tunanyoroshwa. Mpaka unaona aibu. Kenya. Maana Kenya hatuna football. Lakini tukifika kukibia, 
tunawanyoroshanga vizuri hata wao wanajua hata kuna bio unakutaka wa Kenya kumi na watu wengine watatu maana washa give up wanajua tu mkenya hapa atapita naye Boston Marathon tumeshinda New York Marathon tumeshinda Radan Marathon tumeshinda Berlin Marathon tumeshinda ni gani nyingine tumebakisha Haguna ile tumebakisha tunawachianga kamoja ama tuwili na ni ile hatukueda ile tulikuwa tumechoka tulikuwa tunataka kupumzika hiyo ndio wanatushinda Amen ama tunawatumia wale tunaita amateurs wale wanajaribu the upcoming lakini ile bio tunakwenda hata world record ziko hapa Kenya kadhaa Hello nasema hivi lakini kuna mahali ya tuogei habari ya mpira Mpira tulienda siku moja Egypt wakatuambia vile wanatunyoroshanga unajua unajificha tu <laughs> We usually beat you this only keep on talking to us wana kwa mpira wanajua tu watatunyorosha maana sisi ni aina ile hata sijui kuna timu iko huko sijui kama ilicheza ama inacheza leo inyoroshwe kadhaa ili nyoroshwe moja hapa alafu wanasema watawanyorosha kwao wanyorose nani watanyoroshwa tu asi kwamba na watabiria mabaya lakini kuna area si yetu lakini kuna mahali tunaweza jigamba praise the name of the lord kukifika mbio hata hatufanyangi warm up tunasemanga ikuje ikuje tu tuanze tu tuende tu na wa Ethiopia praise the name of the lord sasa ninajaribu kukuonyesha hauwezi ongea the same language kuna kitu unadiru naye hapa hauwezi ongea na, na vile mtu anadiru na kingine pale amen mtu akienda kuwinda paka mwitu si anaweza beba tu kijiti Unaweza enda kuwinda simba na kijiti. Te unaangalia nyayo zake mahali imepitia na uko na kijiti ama na kagunia ate unasema ikitokea nitaiwekea gunia iigie. Hiyo ni paka unawida. Si baha we do the same na mtu yule anaida nini? Paka. Mtu anawida dobu hawidi kama yule anawida swara. Praise the name of the Lord. These things ningetaka uelewe. The language of prayer matters. You must teach yourself to pray accordingly. Ni kitu gani ninasukumana nacho? They requires a strategic praying. Niombe mtu mwenye akili fulani, mwenye maarifa fulani. Ndio huyu hana, hakuambia mzee nipeleke tukaombe. Hapana, wacha niende. Wewe huna shida, mimi niko na shida. Wewe uko na watoto, mimi sina. Wacha niingie bere za Bwana. Na sitaingia huko niombe kawaida. Nikiambia heri najua tu, si hata alipomwambia, heri alimwambia nini? go in peace ena na amani hiyo ni kuomba sasa niambie hata ugeenda kwa heri ate umwambie mzee unaona mimi sinanga mtoto na tumekaa na bwanangu miaka ishirini, hata kuna watoto wengine saba na huyo mama mwingine sasa ninaomba tu uniombe heri angeomuombea tu hivyo tu eda kwa amani mama pokea enda okay si vibaya amen lakini najaribu uone lugha ya maombi kama kuna mtu anaweza kuwa na lugha nzuri ya kuomba ni wewe praise the name of the lord lakini je hana alijibiwa mwaka uliofuata amen alipata mtoto and after that maandiko inasema zaidi ya hiyo alipotoka pale praise the name of the lord ehe hebu tusome katika msali wake wangapi Mustari wake wa 19 they rose are in the morning and worshiped before the Lord then they went back to their house at Rama and Elkana knew his wife eh, Hana his wife and uh, the Lord remembered and in due time Hana conceived and bare a son and she called his name, his name Samuel for she said I have asked eh, for him from the Lord praise the name of the Lord Hana aliomba na waliporudi kwake Mungu alimkumbuka. Kwa hivyo pia ujifundishe maombi kuna maombi utaomba leo usiona efekti yake lakini imefanya kazi. Kuna vitu utasukuma leo lakini ukiangalia in the real sense you are still the barren woman. Mwanamke asiyeweza kuzaa. Hivyo ndivyo bado ulivyo. Lakini si kusema hautazaa. Maombi yako yamefanya kazi na kile cha kuzaliwa kitazaliwa. Praise the name of the Lord. So mimi naomba kwamba imani yako itajengeka katika hili neno ya kwamba Hana aliomba na Mungu akampea mtoto. E, Rebeka aliombewa na Mungu akampea mtoto. Kwa nini wewe uombe utoke mikono mitupu? Hautatoka mikono mitupu katika jina la Yesu. Utatoka na kile ambacho unatafuta katika jina la Yesu. Praise the name of the Lord. Twende katika kitabu cha Waebrania 
na ili tu angalie neno lingine ambalo litatusaidia e, kuelewa jambo hili la kuomba Aha. na haji, hitaji kubwa la maombi ni imani the greatest need when you stand to pray is faith imani na Yesu pia alisema mtu aaminie akiomba atapewa mtu aaminie kwa hivyo ukiamini ukiomba utapata praise the name of the lord so neno hapa nitakusomea mistari unaweza anzia verse 1 in your own time usome habari ya watu ambao wanatajwa na wale walioparate na imani eh? walifanya mambo kwa sababu ya kuamini lakini mimi nataka tuende katika verse number 29 tuendelee kutoka pale praise the name of the lord eh hey, hallelujah by faith the people crossed the red sea as if on dry land but the egyptians when they attempted to do the same were drowned by faith the people crossed the red sea wanaswe sana what is the red sea the red sea was a barrier between egypt and israel hallelujah ndio mpaka umewekwa lakini Biblia inasema kwamba by faith they cross over. So today as we pray, ninasikia tutakuwa na hatua kadhaa. Na one of the major issues ambazo ningetaka uone ni kwamba tunaweza kwa imani wa kuvuka mipaka ile imewekwa. Bahari ile imeweka mpaka mbele yako, unaweza wa kuivuka kwa imani yako. If you believe and pray, you will cross to the other side. Hallelujah. Na mambo haya ndio Mungu ameweka ndani yangu kitu kimoja ambacho tutaombea ni bahari zile ziko mbele zetu zipate jia katika jina la Yesu we get a way through in the name of the lord and another thing ambao tutaomba biblia inasema wa isra, eh, wa misri walipojaribu kulifanyika nini they perished may those who pursue you as far as it is concerned uh, as far as it concerns your life kule umewekewa mipaka mipaka hiyo wacha iwazuie wao lakini wewe uweze kupita katika jina la Yesu and today we shall pray maombi mengine nasikia anga ikiitwa dangerous prayer maana kuna vitu vinapaswa viperish viondoke katika maisha yetu tuachane kukibizana nao katika jina la Yesu unajua wa Misri wa survive wa Israeli wageishi kusukumana na wa Misri milele lakini Mungu alihakikisha namna gani ya kwamba Bahari hii mmevuka nitaitumia to your advantage to destroy your enemies. Hallelujah. Of course sisi hatutaombea watu ati wale maadui wetu. Unajua kuna watu tuko na maadui physical, si maadui spiritual. Unajua tukisema tuombe maadui kuna wengine hapa anajua John. Kwa hivyo ataanzana na John immediately. So sitaki hiyo, siendi hiyo jia. Nataka kuongea habari ya maadui kiroho. Praise the name of the Lord. Of course kuna watu. Na niwaambia hivi, wanadamu hata wale unaonanga wakiwa wabaya kinyume chako, kuna karoho imewaigia. Mwanadamu hana kitu ndani yake ambacho ni kibaya. Hakubwa na ubaya. Ni maroho fulani na situation, circumstances, hizo zinafanya mtu anakaa hivyo. Kwa hivyo usiwe na maadui wanadamu kuwa na maadui maroho. Ni roho gani inafanya kazi? Na kile kinakufuata, ombi moja ambalo tunaomba nikiweze kuangamia katika jina la Yesu. Unajua nimekuwa nikisikia kuna maroho ambao niliwaambia maneno ambao Mungu alinipea from Thursday last week tumekuwa tukimekuwa nikiomba na tumepata nafasi ya kuomba eh, on these days uh, or in these days nitasema ya kwamba nilikuwa nasikia kuna maroho so stubborn ambao inakataa kupeana njia kuna maroho ambao inasema sisi tulikuja sisi ni wakitambo lakini hata kama ni ya kitambo let it be known that a god can make a way and a god can also deal with them in his own wisdom haleluya wacha kwa hekima Mungu atuondolee mapepo mengine ambayo yamekuwa tu yakizurura zurura tu hapo around yakiona kama unafanikiwa inagonga yakiona kama unapita inaleta kavita yakiona kama unaenda kusonga yanainuka tena leo ni siku Mungu atupe ushindi katika maisha yetu katika jina la Yesu Hallelujah. So mstari wa wa hiyo wa 29 unatuambia by faith eh uh-huh. sana. 
by faith watu walivuka verse 30 inasema by faith the uh, by faith the walls of jericho fell down after they had been encircled for 7 days na hizi ndizo vitu ambazo ninakuambia every every uh, issue requires strategic praying si mambo yote unaombea the same bwana asifiwe sana mbona mungu hakusema musa in, uh, joshua inua fimbo hivi erekeza jericho alisema jericho ifanywe nini izungukwe siku saba every day once lakini on the seventh day isungukwe mara saba na jericho ikabomoka so leo wakati tunaomba may god give you the strategy to deal with every jericho that is standing in your life am i talking to somebody mungu akupe tu neema neema na nguvu jericho ambayo imesimama kinyume chako akupee njia ya kuizunguka ianguke katika jina la yesu and as Jericho falls, may your enemies be destroyed. Praise the name of the Lord. Eh? Of course, Jericho ilianguka na watu wakakufia huko dani. Lakini Biblia nasema kwamba, but Rahab, eh, the prostitute, did not perish with those who were disobedient because she had given a friendly welcome to the spies. May you be delivered like Rahab in the name of the Lord. May you have your way out as Rahab in the name of the Lord. When the others are perishing, may you find your way out of the situation in Jesus' name. Na wapendwa, ninataka uinue imani yako. Inasema tu by faith. Haitua bia tikuna kitu kubo walifanya. Aa, ni by faith. Kwa kuwamini tu, murango ukafunguka. Jia zika patikana. Verse 32, inasema, And what more shall I say? For time would fail me to tell of Gideon Barak. Okay, ebu ni taje mtu moja moja. Anatajwa mtu wa kwanza ni nani? Gideon. Gideon muna mkubuka. What do you remember this guy for? Huh? What do you remember when you hear the name Gideon? Unakubuka nini? Ay. Amuna story ya Gideon. Who was he? A judge in Israel. But do you remember the coward? Gideon the coward. Ambaya mejificha. Lakini maraika nakuja na muambia wee ni mtu mkubwa. Anasema wee ngoja kidogo. Wewe haujui hapa. Mambo imekuenda hivi na hivi. Kuko hivi na hivi. Maraika akamuambia henda na uwezo wako. Na marambiri alimujaribu mungu. Maraya tatu mungu alibidi ya muambia. Enda usikize vile wa midiani wanaongea. Iri ujue ya kwamba ni mekuita. Praise the name of the Lord. So Gideon was a coward. Lakini bibile inasema ya kwamba. Kwa imani... Ha, huyu mtu anasema siwezi yerezea matendo ya watu wengine kama Gideon. Bwana asifiwe sana. Can you imagine Gideon hata strategy aliyobeba aliyokwenda vitani naye ni mienge ya moto, alafu wamefunika na nini? Na nyungu. So kamwenge kanawaka huko ndani ya nyungu. So wamekuja katika giza, wameingia katika kambi ya wamidiani. Eh? Yeah? Akawaambia mtakaviona nimefanya na nyinyi, mfanye hivyo. Akaangusha ile nyungu Mwanga ule ukaripuka wa midiani wakachanganyikiwa wakaanza kutoroka na Gideon aliwaua watu wengi Bwana Yesu asifiwe na alienda na jeshi la watu miangapi? Mia tatu. Haleluya lakini watu wengi walirudi nyumbani zaidi ya 1029 walirudi nyumbani kwa sababu gani kwa sababu Mungu hakuwa anataka jeshi hilo kubwa praise the name of the lord Alikuwa nataka, alikuwa nataka kuonyesha uweza wake. It is not about the vastness of your army. It is not about the resources in your hands. I am the Lord and I'm able to work. So today may you believe that this God who worked by grace is also the same God who will work graciously in your life today. Kwa neema, akufungulie jia. Kwa neema, uwe kama gidioni. Uwashinde wale ya mbawa kuna mapanga na mafarasi. Buwana sifuwe sana. Tasa, hata kama hiya ijadiko hapa. Muna kubuka wale wenye ukoma wane. First Kings, no second Kings chapter number, 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 number what? Number seven. Amba wali inuka. Wakaambiana tukika hapa, tutakufa. Tukirudi kwa muji, tutakufa. Tuende huko tuone kama watatupea chakura. Na wakituua, we are better. We are better off tukufe mapema. Tuwate kukauka hapa pole pole. Lakini wakati walienda. Wakienda badala ya wale wasikie watu waine wenye ukoma. Walisikia nini? Magari ya farasi. Praise the name of the Lord. So at times, you don't need the strategies either za, za money, za watu wengine. You need to walk by faith. God is able to deliver you. Hallelujah. Atawalienda wakafika wakaingia. 
wanaingia pole pole wanashindwa kwani hakuna askari wa kulinda wanaingia wanaona hai huku hakuna watu wakaingia hema moja na ile kitu kubwa ilikuwa inawasubua na Mungu atuodolee hii ni jaa Bwana asifiwe sana watu hao hata wakuwa na haja na vitu vingine kwanza ni kusuruhisha nini tatizo la jaa na ninaomba siku ya leo tatizo la jaa Mungu akusuruhishie katika jina la Yesu haleluya usikose chakula Usikose the, bene, the basic amenities ambazo unahitaji katika life kwa sababu hiyo ni kitu moja inaweza kukusubua. Hawakuona thamani ya vitu zilizokuweko mpaka kwanza tubo zikafanya nini? Zikashiba. Wakati tubo zilishiba ndio waligudua kuna dhahabu. Ndio waligudua kuna manguo. Ndio waligudua he, wakabeba wakaenda wakaficha. Wakarudia tena wakaenda wakaficha. Ya tatu ndio waligudua ai na tunafanya kitu baya. Mbona tunajificha hapa na watu wako na jaa? Wakarudi kuwabia lakini jaa ni kitu baya. Praise the name of the Lord. So may your hunger be sorted out divinely in Jesus name. But the point I'm driving home is this that they came they were ordinary men actually not ordinary extraordinary in that they were lepers hawana viungo unajua ukoma kama huelewi ukoma hukata viungo unajikuta uko na mkono lakini vidole vimekatika somewhere vinakuliwa na ule ugonjwa miguu ehe hivyo hivyo So watu wengi ambao walikuwa na ukomo walikuwa na matatizo mengi gozi imekuliwa iko na mavidonda na vidonda ambazo waziponi Bwana asifiwe sana So you can imagine hawa watu hata kutembea ni shida lakini hiyo kutembea yao kwa sababu waliinuka by faith wakasema let us act praise the name of the Lord Si Mungu aliamplify miguu yao may God amplify your steps in the name of Jesus Christ may your enemies hear the army of the Lord and not only you may your enemies understand that a god is fighting for you praise the name of the lord so mtu wa pili ambaye anatajwa pale anaitwa nani barak uh, he was also another judge barak what was the character, character of barak najua huyo ni mmoja wa, wa watu ambao watu wengi hapa tunaweza kosa kujua ni yule aliyabiwa na nabii debora akaambiwa enda vitani mungu anasema amepeana akamwambia mama wacha nikwambie kama ni Mungu twende na wewe yani anaitwa mtu wa kushikilia skirt yani unajua kuna vitu ambazo si sawa mwanaume kusema aogozwe na mama hii kitu haiko sawa na mama hajafundishwa kupigana wa mama hata hawakuwa wanapigana wanaume ndio walikuwa wanapigana mpaka yule mama akamwambia na wewe kwa hivi umesema Mungu atapeana adui wako mikononi mwa mama ndiye atamuangamiza Heshima itarudia wa mama na ili warudia praise the name of the lord i don't know where that is why there are so many women here not men anyway god is good hallelujah <laughs> i pray that our victory will not go to the ladies but we also get our victory but i want to say this it was a shame ya kwamba barak badala ya kuamini neno na kwenda naro alimwamini mama akamwambia twende na wewe lakini ametajwa hapa kwa sababu zaidi ya yote hata kama alikuwa na tumashaka kulikuwa na kaimani kadogo ndani yake alisema twende basi twende hakumwambia wa wa hodoneo <laughs> eh oi mm, the right knows itself bwana asifiwe hakusema hivyo alimwambia twende kama ni Mungu twende na wewe ninakuombea neema hii ya kupigana neema uingie katika vita vyako uarout the enemies praise the name of the lord barak mtu mwingine ambaye ametajwa ni nani samson sasa si mnamjua samson Samson na makasoro zake zote lakini ametajwa kwa sababu jamaa igawaje alikuwa na makasoro alikuwa na ushindi wa kipekee Amen to the last day huyu jamaa alikufa akiwa ameshua maadui wengi maisha yake yalikuwa ni maisha ya vita and he was able to overcome so he is mentioned mwingine anatajwa ni nani Jephthah eh, Jephthah mnamkumbuka vizuri mwana wa Kahaba aliyefukuzwa akaambiwa kwenda hakuna kitu hapa mtoto ya kahaba kwenda utafute mama yako kule aliolewa enda huko nani anajua kama we ni mtoto wa baba yetu ama ni mtoto ya mtu mwingine lakini akatoka tu akaenda lakini ukimwangalia baada ya hiyo victory ambao alipata ye mwenyewe na ile aliletea Israeli ni victory isiyo ya kawaida kwa sababu alimwamini Mungu hata kama niko na kasoro bara ya mkepabo praise the name of the lord eh, mtu mwingine anatajwa pale ni nani David eh, David hakuna haja ya kutaja mambo yake akianzia pale na simba dubu goliatho 
eh, majitu mengine ambao waliua huko bere vita ambazo walipigana na hakuna mahali yalienda akashindwa bwana asifiwe sana in fact hata usome biblia uone hakuna vita daudi alienda akashindwa hata moja na ile inakaa kama ni kushindwa ni yeye alikuwa amepanga ikae kama ni kushindwa si mnakumbuka wakati alikuwa anataka kuua uria hiyo ndio siku tu jeshi lake lilirudi nyuma likapigwa uria akauawa na hiyo ndio ilikuwa strategy yake lakini ukweli wa mambo ni huu david never engaged in battle and was overcome may you receive the same grace in the name of jesus christ that when you get into your battle may you conquer your enemies may you defeat as many giants as possible praise the name of the lord I was looking at this word nilipokuwa nasoma kitabu cha Second Chronicles nikagudua ya kwamba ati Daudi alipigana na alipigana vita kiasi ya kwamba na, na marafiki wake waliua majitu majitu wa trisi anatajwa manne praise the name of the lord because he was a mighty man he was victorious hakuna mahali alikuwa anaenda mpaka mwishowe watu walikuja kujisalimisha watu wakasema we mimi sitaki unipige Niambie nitakuwa naleta nini mwisho ya mwaka nitaleta hakuna haja ukuje maana ukikuja utanishinda watu wakaja wote wakajinyenyekesha waka kwake amen wakajinyenyekesha mpaka waliokuwa mbali mpaka watu ambao hawa, ha, hawezi fika huko lakini walimwambia we waacha tu tusifikirie unaweza kuja wewe waacha we surrender before you rise praise the name of the lord and i pray that the same grace be upon you that your enemies surrender before you fight in jesus name may your enemies give in to your demands before you wage any war in jesus name mtu mwingine anatajwa ni nani samueli uh, samueli si mnajua huyo kijana ambaye amezaliwa na hana maisha yake alikuwa maisha ya nini ya utukufu maisha ya ushujaa maisha ambao alipigania israeli aliingia vitani kwa niaba ya Israeli. I, I may not have all the time to read lakini anasema and eventually and this is a, a, the last word prophet Manabi. E, wakati anataja Manabi. Ni Manabi wangapi tunajua katika Biblia? Manabi wangapi? Mnawakumbuka watu kama Elisha ambao alichukua ali, ali jeshi la Waashuri akawapeleka mpaka Samaria ndani akawaambia yule mnatafuta hayuko hapa wacha nikawaonyeshe na wakamfuata na wanaenda wakimwambia yes tuonyeshe we hatutakuguza ukituonyesha tunakuachilia hiyo ni my own thoughts eh? haijaandikwa lakini unafikiri walienda wamenyamaza si walimfuata wakimuongelesha wanaambia naye ni mtu mzuri sana we unaonekana uko na akili eh, we uko na akili si kama watu wengine watu wengine wangetudanganya lakini we ni mkweli akawapeleka akawafikisha Samaria walipofika Samaria ndani akasema bwana wafugue macho walipofuguliwa macho wakajikuta katikati ya Israeli jeshi limewazunguka mishale na mikuki imewapoint hivi mfalme akauliza mtu wa Mungu ni wauwe wote akaambiwa we wacha unaua wale ume wanapigana na we na wale umeshika si mtu wale ameshika anawachana na wao akamwambia wapikie chakula wakule majamaa wakapikiwa unajua ni ile chakula unakula lakini unakula ukijua eh ene time upanga unaweza wekelewa kwa kichwa so ile chakula haina utamu ni ile unakula na unaambiwa kula unakula tu kwa sababu unasema wacha nikule tu ona angekuwa demo honu nikufe nikiwa nimeshiba lakini wakakula na maandiko inasema akawaachilia wakarudi kwa biblia inasema hawakuwahi rudi tena we no shoke we unaweza rudi huko uliachiliwa kwa amani na ulipelekwa ukiwa umefugwa macho mpaka ukafika Samaria katikati ya sete dio nauliza kai kwani kwani kwa Elisha ni nyumba kubwa aje kwani huyu mtu anaitwa Elisha eh kwani anakuanga tajiri aje wanaambiwa wewe wachana na maneno mengi hapa kunaitwa Samaria mfalme wa Israeli ndiye huyo Elisha ni mimi niliyewaleta hapa na hawakuwa wanamuona wapendwa kitu inakwambia ukirudi huko hauwezi pona utakufa na Mungu si ashughulikie maadui wako namna hivyo katika jina la Yesu wengine waachane na wewe kwa sababu watasema hakuna haja ya kufa mapema wacha tuachane na yeye praise the name of the lord na Mungu atashughulika kwa sababu ninasikia hivyo manabii wengi walikuweko Musa ni nabii mnamjua vizuri e, Daniel ni nabii e, kuna kitu kimeandikwa katika verse number 39 e, not not 39 ebu, ebu tusome katika verse number what 34 maana 33 and 34 who through faith watu hao ambao wametajwa hapo kwa imani kwa imani walifanya nini ehe 
conquered kingdoms. And I pray today, be a conqueror of the kingdoms that have been standing against you in Jesus' name. Receive the grace to conquer because that is what we are learning from these words. Uh -huh. Conquered what? Kingdoms. Bibiria inasema kwamba enforced justice obtained. Na hii enforced justice. Yani udhibitishe haki. Bwana aspe sana. Mambo yale yanapaswa kuamuliwa, yanapaswa kutendwa. Si atendwe kwa haki kwa sababu yako. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Eh uh -huh. enforced justice and what else did they do? Obtain the promises ahadi walizipokea. In these prayers that we are making, may you receive the promises of God that you are supposed to receive in Jesus name. May you receive the promises of God kwa sababu ni Mungu na ndiye hupeana ahadi, ndiye huzitimiza ahadi jina la bwana libarikiwe yeye ndiye hufanya kama vile neno lake linavyosema kwa hivyo ninaamini kwamba tutapata ahadi za bwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo praise the name of the lord hmm? so neno linazidi kusema nini e, katika msali wake huo wa 33 e, stopped the mouths of lions walifunga midomo ya siba Kwa hivyo kunawezekana kuna wengine ambao walifanya vile Danieli alifanywa. Kunawezekana kwa sababu haiwezi andika in plural wakati it is only in singular. Kwa hivyo wapendwa ujue ya kwamba una uwezo wa kunyamazisha midomo ya simba, kuifunga na Mungu wako ana uwezo wa kuifunga. Eh quench the power of fire. Walizima moto. Bwana asifiwe sana. So mambo haya yote yameandikwa inasema mpaka wali wali wafu wao walifufuliwa haleluya mm? wafu wao walifufuliwa kwa nini sisi tuwe na mashaka ya kwamba even the dead things can resurrect this is our god and this is the god we are talking about praise the name of the lord let's go to verse number 39 to 40 it is the two last verses of the same scripture inasema and all this though commended through their faith the word to commend means to honor, uh -huh, to take in esteem, praise the name of the Lord. Walipata heshima kwa sababu ya imani, did not receive what was promised. Since God had provided something before for us, that apart from us, they should not be made perfect. Watu hawa walipokea, divo mandiko inasema, and I want you to note that verse very clearly. Walipokea mambo yale walipewa lakini bibi anasema kwamba hawange kamilika bila sisi the only way for them to be perfect is if we also get there may god help you to understand si walipata watoto si walifungiwa simba midomo si moto hauku wachoma bibi anasema wakiwa na hizo achievements si kitu kwa sababu na sisi pia tunapaswa tuingie katika list may god help you to see the truth that you enter into the list upokee kama wao uingie ili wa hawawezi itwa washindi peke yao hata sisi tunagojewa we conquer kingdoms we defeat enemies we 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 stop the mouths of lions we overcome the fire so that we also can be counted among them kwa sababu ushindi wao sio perfect bila ushindi wetu may god help you mwana ni rogosho Yaani walishinda na Biblia inasema kwamba they are commended because of their faith. Ushindi wao unaonekana ni wazi. Lakini inasemekana hakuna kitu wamepata kwa sababu na sisi pia tunatarajiwa tukuje the same level. We overcome like them. We defeat enemies like them. We kill giants like David so that we can receive the same reward together with David. Hallelujah. Hana vile alipokea mtoto. Tunapaswa na sisi tupokee hata kama si mtoto physical tupokee kitu ili hana akiongea vile aliomba akajibiwa tuwe level moja ili akipewa zawadi na sisi tupewe pamoja na yeye bwana yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo mimi sitapitisha pale nilikuwa nataka usikie hili neno lakini nilisema kuna mipaka mitatu nataka tu nayo bwana asifiwe sana na of course mipaka hii mitatu nataka uelewe vile mtu hufugiwa unafugiwa strategy za kukufugia ni tatu majare they are free Bwana asifiwe sana. Number 1, kuna boundaries ambazo zinakufugia through the platform of inheritance. Urithi. Umerithi nini? Na dio hili neno linapaswa likupe moyo. 
kwa sababu sisi hatukuhesabiwa na wale mikora ya kwetu na mababa zetu tumehesabiwa pamoja na akina Daudi na akina nani akina Danieli watu hawa ndio tumehesabiwa nao ili tugudue ya kwamba mipaka ile ya familia zetu they are not our boundaries our boundary tunapaswa tujipime na akina Daudi ai wanaswe sana kama hujafika mahali Daudi alifika haujafika haujasonga kuna territory mbele yako kama hujaona mambo yale akina Hana waliona maombi yako ukaomba yakajibiwa hauna reason ya kujilime tena watu wa kwenu ujilime tena inheritance praise the name of the lord so leo wakati tuna na mipaka one of the major things nataka to handle ni any inheritance ambao inaleta shida katika maisha yetu inheritance ambayo inatusumbua inheritance ambayo inasema ya kwamba huku dio kwako hauwezi pita hapa hauwezi fika kule tumewekewa mipaka nimesema na manabii na mitume tumewekewa mipaka na watu hao ili tusione mambo madogo tuone mambo yale makubwa praise the name of the lord another thing eh, ambao huweka mipaka ni matendo ya watu matendo na one of the things ningetaka ujiulize matendo yangu yamekuwa matendo ya aina gani mimi ni mtu wa tabia za aina gani kwa sababu matendo yako yanaweza kuja kujenga mpaka katika maisha yako yanaweza kuja kujenga mpaka katika maisha yako matendo ya watu wale ambao wamekutangulia yanaweza kujenga mpaka kwa hivyo unataka tudiru na matendo any action ambao ninaweza kuwa nilifanya ama tendo likatendwa na wale walio nizaa ambalo linaweza niwekea kikomo linaweza niwekea mpaka nataka tudiru naro pia and finally kuna mpaka huwekwa kwa maneno na this is the most common wapendo hata wachana na ya inheritance kuna watu tumetoka katika familia hazina uchawi hazina nini lakini ni familia za maneno ukikaa hivi mtu unasikia vile ameogea unajua huku tutaharibika eh bwana asifiwe sana mtu anakaa hivi tu analipuka yeye ndio mkao mbele ya goroki unajua nyinyi ni wenda wazimu sasa akiwaita wazimu aseme hivi leo kesho kutwa siku hiyo ingine anaongea tu habari ya wazimu ni nini itakuwa katika ile nyumba kupanguka kwa akili unajaribu kupanga kitu akiwezi pangika hata ukiwa na idea very bright idea kubwa lakini haiwezi pangika kwa sababu maneno yaliyosemwa yanakunyima opportunity uweza wa kupanga kitu kikwisha ama kimalizike Bwana asifiwe sana. Maneno. Maneno ambao tunaneneana, maneno ambao tunajinenea. Na leo tunapodiru na matendo na maneno. Nataka kwanza tudiru na matendo na maneno yetu wenyewe. Sisi tunaopaliti namna gani? Si unajua wengine vile tunasemanga wakati tumefika mwisho. Ah! Hata kuwe vile kutakuwa ni maneno umesema. Umekataa ku enforce your destiny, ukakubali other circumstances zikupeleke kule zinakupeleka praise the name of the lord the time has come for us to change maneno ambao ya meneno maneno ambao yameongewa na watu maneno ambao uliyazungumza mwenyewe kule ulijiraani kule ulijisema mambo wakati ulikuwa chini particularly when you are lowly mtu huogea maneno mengi sana ah mimi sijali hii dunia hakuna mtu ataishi kama mawe. Eh, hey, unaongea tu maneno, maneno ambayo ni ya kujidunisha, maneno ya kukompromise, maneno ya kusikizana na, wa, na, na na hali na situations, lakini nataka leo tudiru na ile mipaka, inheritance, matendo ambayo tunaweza kuwa tulitenda ama yalitendwa na maneno ambayo tulinena, na maneno ambayo tulinenewa. Praise the name of the Lord. Si some of us we know the words that were spoken against us. Some of us know the words we spoke in our distress maneno ambao tulinena kwa hivyo ninataka tufike mahali tuondoke hayo maneno tujilete mahali pa kusema bwana ninataka kuishi kama neno lako linavyosema nataka kufikia urithi wangu kama vile biblia inasema praise the name of the lord so tutasimama tutajipea nafasi ya kuomba tunashukuru bwana kwa wale ambao wamejiunga nasi online na wewe pia unaweza ingia katika nafasi ya kuomba uombee mambo hayo ambao tunaongea habari yake kwa imani unaweza pokea chochote kile unatafuta bere za bwana kwa imani unaweza pokea baraka ambao unatafuta katika uwepo wake bwana kwa imani hakuna jambo haliwezekani praise the name of the lord Mark chapter 9 verse 23 we have quoted this scripture severally in the past few days na inasema ya kwamba to him who believes all things are possible
kwa yeye aaminie mambo yote yanawezekana nataka tusimame kwa imani tuambie Mungu niwezeshe katika hili eneo na strategically mimi nataka u strategize maneno maeneo ambao unataka kuombea zaidi ya mipaka ni kitu gani unaona unastahili kusukuma kubuka this is a combination of the conferences ambazo tumekuwa nazo tunataka kupitisha mipaka mahali tumefika tunataka kuingia into our own territories praise the name of the lord tunataka kupokea watoto ambao you see hana had the potential she was a woman she had the potential lakini alikuwa amefungana na wewe unaweza kuwa na all the potential lakini umefungana utasa ule ambao umekuwa ukikuzunguka maeneo ambao unaona utasa ya nene uondoe utasa katika jina la Yesu jifungue katika lile eneo if we are talking about a financial uh, financial what bitterness let us deal with the bitterness hallelujah if we are talking about uh, mental bitterness unajua unaweza jikuta katika hii dunia unakaa kama robot labda upelekwe kule unaenda labda kule flow inakwenda una flow hivyo hauna nguvu yako mwenyewe mimi nataka tuombe utasa hata wa akili uondoke utasa wa maisha uondoke utasa wa mafikira utuondoke na ili tupate kuzaa kama vile Mungu angetaka tuzae Bwana Yesu asifiwe Mungu awabariki wale wako kwenye mtandao tutafikisha pale Mungu awabariki awanetende mema ingia katika kuomba pia uombe maisha yako Mungu ni mwaminifu ambaye anajibu maombi kwa wengine atajibu maombi kwako katika jina la Kristo Shalom God bless you so much So tunaweza ingia katika kipindi